I'm James Bookhart, and we're in Orangeburg County, South Carolina. And we farm about 1,100 acres. Uh, we farm cotton, corn, soybeans, and peanuts. Uh, all of it's done precision-based. We all do uh, conservation tillage, and uh, we would be fairly innovative on our farm, and we like to try new products. So we started using bioag products about three years ago. Obviously, the industry, you have to stay ahead of the game to, to generate profits in our industry, so you don't want to continue to do the same old thing. So we're always looking for something new to give us better yields, better quality, and just better addition to the bottom line. So the use of microbials in, in crops like peanuts, corn and soybeans, uh, you know, we're just seeing better growth, um, which is correlating to somewhat better yields and uh, better return on investment. Greg Seitz, he brought us some Tag Team LCO to try three years ago, and uh, we put out a 10 acre plot on peanuts, and we saw some pretty dramatic results that year. Unfortunately, that year we did not get uh, yield information because uh, we had a flood in that fall that, that destroyed the crop. So we used it again the following year and we were able to get uh, yield information and the Tag Team LCO actually out yielded the untreated check by about 350 pounds. BioAdvantage trials, uh, being able to evaluate these products uh, is, is definitely a benefit to see how they perform. Uh, it gives us an advantage to, to kind of know what's coming uh, know what we have out there available and, and whether it will perform on our farm or not. Well, we always like to see an agriculture company invest and reinvest to try to bring new products forward. And of course, these are a novel type product. Uh, it's not like another herbicide or another Me Too type product. So uh, we're really excited about that and hopefully they'll work, keep bringing some benefits to the farm.